What's up guys? My name is Evan and I'm the new Friday Spot to the Closet Club. Happy New Year's guys. Um, welcome to 2010. I don't know if I can deal with not having two zeros in the middle. I don't know, one is kind of getting, going to get in the way. I mean, I've been doing it for like 10 years. I don't, I don't know. I hope you all had a very safe and amazing New Year's. Um, I certainly celebrated well. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I saw a little bit of makeup on my eyes that I can't wash out. Um, I made responsible social decisions, but then again, I'm at the age that I can, so... I'll... Alright, so this week is Truth Week. This is where I answer a bunch of questions. Uh, the first question is, have I ever lied about my sexuality? Um, I mean, yeah, obviously. Um, but, I don't know, I, I feel like at some point it's not technically lying because we don't even know what the fuck is going on with ourselves, so it's it's whatever. When I was in high school, um, when I came out, uh, I transitioned with saying that I was bisexual, and then I, I, I guess it was like my foot in the door, one in, one out, um, and seeing how people took that, uh, the news or whatever. Um, for those of you that haven't seen my coming up video here, uh, you should check it out. It kind of goes into a little bit more detail, but it's still kind of vague at the same time. Am I completely out? Um, I'd like to say that I am, um, I, especially with uh, the lessons that I learned in Texas. Um, I learned that I shouldn't really be ashamed. But um, some people kind of confuse being completely out and minding their own damn business. So if I don't know you and you're like all up in my grill, how am I going to tell you that I'm out? Because I don't know what the hell you're going to do with that information. You know, like I, I don't know you. You could be a sketchy mother with priors that wants to hate on gay people. And I'm not going to be that dude, you know? So uh, <laughs> if you see me at the street, say, hey, what's good? And not, hey, are you gay? two totally different roads. We can go one, I don't know if you can enjoy the other. I don't regret how I came out. Um, I feel the word regret means that you want to take it back. I mean, if I could do things different, then I would, I would do things a lot different. I mean, had I known now and had a lot of people really weren't going to care, uh, then I wouldn't have put it on such a high pedestal. Um, I thought that was a huge deal, but everyone else at that age, when I was in high school and I came out, everyone was going through their own bullshit and their own identity issues. Um, no, but I don't regret how I came out, um, especially because I learned a lot about myself. Um, it's not just about the reaction of others, but it's about your reaction to their reaction. It's cause and effect and shit. I can't, I can't be upset at myself, and I can't, I can't be upset at uh, the way that things go. Um, my biggest thing is that if someone that I come out to doesn't take it as well as I hope to, uh, as I hope, um, you can't take it personally because. I mean, that's an issue that they've had before you telling them, so, like, who are you to think that you can change their beliefs? So, just let it go. Uh, I mean, it sucks if it's a parent, but I, they're human, you're human. Um, that's a battle that I can't, <laughs> I can't fight, especially, like, when in a period of a couple of minutes or an hour. I mean, give it a year or so, and then, then we'll see where we can go from there. Who is my celebrity crush? Oh, Seth Green. Oh. Um, I'm into nerdy boys. Like, that's that's my thing. Um, nerdy and or stupid. I don't know what it is about, like, idiots, but oh my god, like, it's gushy. Um, well, and they don't like to fight. You just tell them that they're wrong. They're like, okay. The strangest place that I've kissed or more with someone. I, the most strangest place that I've kissed was at a public library. It was my first kiss um, with a girl that I dated because I dated girls in like eighth grade. I'm not gonna let y'all into my business. Holler at me, we can have this discussion later. Uh, but the most, like the weirdest intense hookup that I've ever had was in the back, like outside of my, uh, of like the fraternity house. Uh, when I lived in Texas. Uh, yeah, that was fun. That was fun. A lot of people had issues with that, but fuck it. I got mine. Holla. If I could switch lives with a YouTuber for about a week, it would probably be Megan Tanges. Because this lady is amazing, she's beautiful, she has such an amazing voice, and she's such a talented musician. Uh, and plus, she's a, like, decent human being, and you don't find very many of those. Yeah. 
¿Qué más? Uh... If you guys have any other questions for me, um, here is, well, the form spring thing is going to be on the sidebar, unless this is an HD, then it's down there. Um, also, leave me some comments. Uh, my channel uh, link is going to be somewhere around here, uh, and link in the sidebar. Also, find get me on Twitter. Um, I'd really like to get to know a lot more of you, especially these other damn uh, collabors on this damn channel. I'd like to say hello. What's good? What's good to all of you? God damn it. I'm sorry I look like shit, um, but it's New Year's, so you gotta give me a break. Deuces, be safe. Have a happy New Year. Love you. Bye. I'm happy.